Hey lovers and welcome back to my channel. So if you have been watching my channel since the beginning, you know that I originally started this channel to talk about dating lover relationships. And that is where the whole hey lovers thing comes from and it kind of just stuck with me once I started to transition my channel into more than just dating lover relationships. After my relationship ended, I really didn't feel super encouraged to really talk about dating lover relationships anymore. So I started to talk about a little bit who I was dating and then I started doing crochet hair and then just I've been doing a lot of different things on my channel and now at this point I just do everything but I really feel like I wanted to come on here and give like a dating life update and kind of like talk about what's been going on in my dating life because I know there are several single women who follow my channel and some of those single women started following my channel because I did talk about like my dating life so I really just wanted to touch base and do an update um right now I'm not currently seeing anyone at all I was seeing a guy but that didn't really work out because I couldn't see our end goal um we lived in two different states he wasn't interested in moving where I live and I'm definitely not interested in moving where he lives so I really didn't see an end goal and I kind of decided to end things um I was seeing somebody else but he got a psycho baby mama and I'm totally ain't with the baby to mama drama so that's a wrap um, but right now I'm using dating apps. I am on Bumble and I'm on Hinge. So if you see a girl, give me a heart, swipe right, holla at me, DM me, hit me up, let's chat. But the thing about being on dating apps and not being on social media, everybody thinks I'm a catfish. First of all, my name on my profiles is Satacity. I am the only Satacity in the whole entire world. Google me. You will see my LinkedIn. You will know that I'm a real person. I'm the only sadacity in the world. Like, I'm not about to give you my phone number. I don't want to talk on the phone. I don't want to video chat with you because I don't know you. And because of that, like, people are like, oh, you a catfish, you a catfish. No, I don't know you, and I'm not about to give you my number, and I don't want to video chat you. Like, I don't, I'm not interested. So, I've been using, like, a text app and I use that to like text people but with this app you can also call people so if he tries to call me like it's not gonna be like oh this is a fake number it's just gonna ring and I, it's gonna ring on my phone and I can answer it if I want to but I don't think it has video chat so that whole video chat thing is just like dead not as we Skype or Uvu and I don't need people sitting creating profiles and stuff to video chat me so that has been a little struggle for me and i'm just like that's whack i'm not a catfish like i'm really not and i feel like the fact that people think i am it kind of gives my little dating profile a little element of surprise a little a little mystery like oh she might be a catfish she might not be i don't know but i'm just like i'm not a catfish so since i've been dating i haven't really been telling guys about my youtube channel um because one i don't want them to see it and then be like oh my god if we have a bad day she gonna drag me on her channel or like she talking about this on her channel and i don't really like that i don't really care about that topic or you know i just don't want people to be like turned off of me because of my youtube channel like either you're gonna support me and you're gonna like my channel or you're not and i just feel like I don't really want to tell people about my channel like some people know about my channel some people don't but like people who know about my channel will be like don't talk about me on your channel like don't don't go telling people I did this on your channel like first of all don't be a POS and you won't have to worry about me talking about you on my channel first and foremost I'm not that kind of person I'm not about to create a video just to drag you you got you I'm not about to create a video just to drag you no sir I don't, I don't no so when it comes to dating and wanting a successful african-american man as a successful african-american woman your chances are low-key slim and it's really sad but the numbers just don't add up to make it super possible for every african for every african-american woman to get the african-american man that's on her level and in dating i've found that some guys, majority of the guys that I've come across have not been on my level educationally, financially, or just like overall maturity wise, which is kind of weird because at, at a certain age, I feel like you should catch up to women with maturity. Overall, women mature faster than men, but after you reach a good 
32, 33, and I'm 28, we should be on the same level mature-wise. It's like, there's no reason why I should be more mature than you. So I've been coming across a little bit of that. Um, like I said, the education thing, financial thing. It hasn't really been like a big issue, but I haven't really been coming across people who I am overall compatible with um, mentally, emotionally, physically, all that. Like I'll meet somebody and he look good, the vibe is right, but we don't really talk about nothing. Or I meet somebody and we talk about everything, but I'm not like sexually attracted to them. Sexually or physically like super attracted to them. So it is really weird, but for all my single ladies out there, no matter what age you are, definitely stay motivated, stay encouraged, and don't give up on finding your happiness or for finding your true love. Or if you feel like it's going to come to you, go ahead, sis, keep waiting, keep sitting around, not being proactive. But for me, I'm going to be proactive in my love life. And I'm not going to give up on love because we all know love conquers all. So stay motivated, stay encouraged, and definitely don't give up on your dating life if you have some different apps that you're using or are you're going to different places to to like meet guys or make yourself more available leave a comment down below let me know where you're going sis let me know what apps you're using because i need to know i want to go there i want to use those apps i want to chat with those people so leave a comment down below make sure you give this video a thumbs up make sure you subscribe and hit the bell and stay tuned for more videos i'll see you in my next video bye Baby girl was going through it, but I know that she better now And she looking cutie and her beauty is unnatural And she got that body that my arms just wanna wrap around Beautiful black woman, all she need is the queen's crown Sitting on the couch and I'm just playing with your hair and all Make you hot just like the summer, know you waiting for the fall When you back in time, please try to hit me for another call You don't need no makeup, take that napkin and just wipe it off